Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well, Emily Wynn is here. If you have had this feeling that you can't really play as expressive as you wish to, here are some tips for you that hopefully will shed some light on this very, I must say, vague topic in piano playing. Firstly, you need to understand that expressiveness is about how many nuances of feelings we can feel between notes while playing. And for that, first thing is to know how to feel that space between notes and we feel it by singing internally while playing and we always sing with resistance and glissando just like this it's absolutely crucial and the second thing after we got this creativity now let's see how many shades and nuances of feelings some musical mean of expression from piano system can bring to that space and before I go ahead, as usually, I must say that the retraining program that teaches piano system is available for free on my website artofpianotechnique.com Now everyone knows. <laughs> the link is in the description below. And for those who um, want to have great time having Skype lessons with me, it's also available. The link is below. There are some results and there are some testimonials from students. Thank you very much. And uh, now let's go ahead and see how harmony, musical speech, phrasing, emotional image and musical form affect our singing, our playing and expressiveness uh, in performance. All right, so let's start with harmony. Let's start this magic, I love this part. So, uh, the way we imagine notes in emotional color of harmony directly affects singing and playing, and I'm gonna prove you this right now. And um, let's first listen to the harmonies of, um, of the music and try to feel in which harmonies we need to imagine notes in the melody. Which harmony sounds more open, more closed, lighter, brighter, warmer, colder? Now I'm gonna sing the melody without imagining it in harmony, then with. And you will see the difference. After that, I'm gonna play without harmonies, then with. And you will see and feel how harmonies will actually change the tone of my singing and playing and intonation of my singing and my playing. Let's go.
little speech is how we feel every interval individually. Second and seventh are feeling of tension, waiting, longing, yearning. Uh, third and sixth are feeling of love and romance. Fourth is energetic interval. Fifth is meditating interval. Octave and unison are confident statement. And feeling this while singing will affect our playing as well. And answering your question, yes, at first it might seem to be a bit, maybe not even a bit, exaggerating to feel this interval in such a, you know, detached way out of music, but generally this skill of basically feeling which interval you intonate more tense, which interval you intonate more open, uh, will help us to expand our sense of expressiveness of every individual interval and that will let us feel music deeper and convey all nuances of emotions. So let me do again the same routine that I've just done with harmonies. Uh, first I'm going to sing without, then with, then playing without and with and um, again let's see how that will increase our expressiveness. And I'm gonna sing by the way with harmonies. So we're gonna just like make layers. <laughs> Sometimes to really feel a difference in every interval, but you know, it's worth it. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> in one phrase and I'm going to emphasize more second phrase this. so again singing without and with and playing without and with show you guys um, how you can actually sing and play the same melody in different emotions and the audience will feel this. Um, let's just focus on the simplest ones like joy and sorrow. Um, I'm gonna sing first in joy then in sorrow and then I'm gonna play first in joy then in sorrow. It's just you know this little example for you.
to slow down or play it softer. Uh, all these musical means of expression, they kind of, you know, um, they, they, they change by themselves according to your emotion. Okay, I'm coming back to Joy. <laughs> um, I think uh, there is one more uh, musical means of expression left that can help you to play expressive, so let's go on. And lastly, musical form. Um, it's basically the art of distributing energy, just like freezing, but from a bigger perspective. And understanding which part um, of, of music can be beginning of the story, development, rising to climax, culmination, conclusion, will give us this pattern of um, level of energy in the whole piece. So. Um, let's see again how it changes our singing and I think I will change right now a little bit because my intuition tells me that you cannot already hear this melody so many times so um, I'm just gonna sing it without playing because I don't know I think you can feel better through singing um, and I'm just gonna sing with beginning then development, rise into climax, climax, and conclusion. And that's it. Because <laughs> I think if I'm gonna play after that, you will just kill me. <laughs> This guide will reflect in your playing right away if you continue singing in the, in the same way internally while playing. That's it for today. I really enjoyed to make this video and please feel free to use any of these tips in your piano practicing and all of this and much more you can learn um, in my retraining program that is always available for free on my website artofpianotechnique.com the link is below in the description or simply in my Skype lessons privately and the link will be also in the description below and thank you so much for watching and I wish you a great day today